Live from Western North Carolina's News Leader, News 13, this is My 40 This Morning. We all know brushing our teeth is important, but recent research shows a link between serious gum disease and heart disease. Women Heart, the National Coalition for Women with Heart Disease, wants to make sure we're realizing that. So this morning, we're talking to cardiologist Dr. Elizabeth Clitus and heart disease survivor Essence Harris about the conversations not happening between patients and doctors. Good morning to both of you. Good morning. Well, Dr. Clitus, let's talk about why heart disease is so prevalent here in our country these days. You know, heart disease is the number one killer and disabler in our country. It takes the lives of more women and men than all cancers combined, and yet it's predominantly preventable. Um, the reason why the prevalence is so high is because our lifestyles promote it. We sit all day, we eat the wrong foods, we continue to smoke, and we don't take care of the basic things we should be taking care of, like looking after our blood pressure, controlling our cholesterol, and doing even simple things like brushing our teeth. Well, the idea of a link between our oral health and our heart health isn't exactly breaking news, but I understand a national survey shows it's also not getting the lip service it needs. Why aren't people talking about this more openly with their doctors, and what are the questions we really need to be asking our doctors? I think it comes from us compartmentalizing our health. When we go to our dentist, we just talk to them about our oral health. When we talk to our, when we go to our general physician, we talk to them about our general health. And we're really, you know, we need to stop that because we are an entire organism that's in, that is completely interrelated. So it's really important to let each one of our caretakers know about our entire health. Essence, did you ever think that working to keep your smile healthy would be so crucial to keeping your heart healthy? And, and tell us a little bit about your journey with heart disease. Well, you know, it's interesting because if you can imagine at the age of 30, very fit in the prime of my life, um, ate right, was a personal trainer, and then all of a sudden diagnosed with coronary artery disease when I found out during my workouts having shortness of breath. And so, of course, you can imagine that was definitely a time where I knew, you know, I had to make some changes and, um, you know, change some things in my life. What are the changes you've made and, and what's your message to all of us women today? Well, I've made, you know, small, simple changes initially and then have grown to, to add more, you know, over time, of course. And so some of them are listen to your body, know the signs and symptoms and risk factors. Visit the womenheart.org website for more information that you can um, have those questions to ask your doctor when you go to your visits. So those are some things that I would encourage uh, women and educate them on knowing your body. All right, thank you, Dr. Clotis uh, and heart disease survivor Essence Harris. I want to thank you both for reminding us women that we can take the proactive step to make sure that we're watching out for our hearts and maybe grow those heartwarming smiles. <laughs> thank thank you. you. All right, and if you'd like to know more about what these ladies have shared with us today, head over to my40.tv and you'll find a link to information for you.